Okay, hello guys. So this is Rani Ahmed with you, and in this video, I want to demonstrate to you uh, how to take uh, pictures from uh, a mobile uh, from a binocular. Okay, using a mobile phone. Uh, there are different. Uh, like I have uh, four uh, types of uh, mobile phone mounts and holders and clamps. You want to take yeah, call them. I don't know what's a good proper way to call it. Okay, which can uh, like. Uh, Sit on the eyepiece of a binocular and uh, read the picture that's coming from a binocular and record it on your phone. Okay, using the camera that you have your, on your mobile phone. So I have here this mobile phone. I'm not gonna turn it on. Okay, I just want to show you how things will sit on a binocular. Okay, now uh, I have here. Okay, uh, a Sakura binocular. Let's see. Zoom out on it. So let's see. Uh, this is it. It's like uh, 30 by uh, 30 times 20, uh, up to uh, 260 uh, times. And the 160 we're talking about here is just uh, the uh, uh, one uh, objective lens over here from the binocular. See, okay, if I zoom out, okay, this uh, like a single uh, lens over here, okay, has an aperture of eight centimeters, so which means like 80 millimeters times two, you get a minus 160. Sometimes you just try to write them for uh, you know marketing purposes just to be attractive, okay. Anyway, so let's turn this something sitting. Okay. Now let's start with the first one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with this one. Next one is that this is very famous. Okay, it's like uh, fifty dollars at least. Okay, uh, the cost. Okay, you can get it from AliExpress. Uh, and uh, the best thing about it is the ease of uh, shifting the phone in a way it. Uh, uh, like you put your uh, eyepiece of the uh, of the binocular over here, and then you will have your phone sitting like this. Okay, and you got this clamp. Okay, you pull it out, and then you can just simply move the phone the way you like. Okay, up and down. Yeah, there's a mechanical system inside it. It's not that uh, fancy, but uh, the good thing about it is that they made it. Yeah. And you have here a screw which will like bite, make the make this this structure over here. You have the button and this which completes the clamp. So uh, this will uh, make the the clamp bite harder. Okay, according to the size of the eyepiece that you're going to use. This can be used on a, uh, any kind of telescope or any kind of uh, microscope and even binoculars, which is almost the same. Okay, so let's go and install it on the binocular. So, let's see. Now, here you have, as you can see, here, You have the zoom lever, okay. So if I just install it on this place, okay, it won't uh, help, okay, uh, because you need to zoom while it's installed. So uh, I'm gonna put it like this way, and we, yeah. So we just turn the screw, which uh, bites, which makes the clamp bite, okay. See, now it's sitting firmly. Okay. And then I can just simply move the, the mouse just to make the phone point at the correct 
or make the phone collimate its uh, lens, okay, the camera lens with the lens of your eyepiece, okay, of the binocular. Now, the bad thing about this, or this advantage, is that, as you can see here, Uh, maybe I should make the, move the phone to the top a little bit. So you see, here there's a space here. So I can't make the phone like sit, touch it. Touch the eyepiece very, very good. Okay, in a very good way. Okay. Anyway. Now. Making this. Now I have to remove it. And we move to the next one. Okay, so we make this. Now we go to the Next one, which is, this is the one of the worst. I don't buy this one, never, okay? This has a sucking system, okay, here, a sucking rubber. And this side from your phone, because this is how you're gonna, you must install it this way, okay? This side of the phone must be very smooth, because if you have any, like, if you have it like, for example, here, slight, like a net, Okay, like for example, I have, uh, I don't have it with me, but uh, the, you don't have to have a smooth, smooth surface, but the phone, the other phone I have is just the, the LG uh, K7 2017, I forgot, I forgot that model, but it has like the space here, the, the back here is very rough, okay, and very striped, okay, and the stripes will have spacing, so that this means that the air will pass through. This means that the sucker <laughs> will uh, uh, cannot like suck the air, so it can like sit this way, so it can help here. Let's see, now look at me, okay, so to suck, it will go like this. Okay, and see, but well, this can be easily removed. Okay, it can very easily be removed. So maybe if you touch it, or maybe if it's if it has, gets water, things like that. So this is like a one that can make your phone get broken, like this one. Okay, and this does not mean that this phone was broken because of this, but uh, it's just an example. Okay, and also it has some. Something here, which makes the clamp okay, uh, wider or uh, or like not wider. Okay. Okay. So we see how it sits. Okay. So I have to put like this, and then like this. See, now I move the phone, it has not correctly sitting. See, I, I move, that's it. It's not like moving up and down, it's not really good. Okay, this is the worst. Okay, pause the ever. Then push the sucker. Okay. And then maybe you need to move it sometimes, maybe you make it like this, like this. But with the sucker, it might fall by, by mistake, okay, not like somebody like push it like this and by mistake, okay, so this does not really hold the phone and this is one of the worst, then we'll have plan, okay, deal with it, no, this is the, I have the other one, okay, so we have this, this is very, very sweet, okay, very nice with telescopes, but uh, if you have uh, like the uh, see here, look at me here. Okay, here I have a rubber. Okay, I have a rubber. Okay, 
and there's a thickness over here and then you get the eyepiece there's a thickness from here to here this here yeah which means see when it's rubber so you can't hold anything on it in even cannot uh, this this clamp that I have okay cannot really uh, reach the uh, the hard part over here let me show you something okay so I have here see and have three teeth, teeth like this and they must so let's see uh, they must can turn in or out okay so they see like you put your uh, the barrel of your eyepiece okay I've got about the you know the cylinder of the eyepiece getting inside here and and it will the bites it will bite the teeth of three teeth teeth will uh, bite on the eyepiece but the problem is that this one here is not that deep okay it's very shallow okay so let's see give you an example okay and of course here you have to put the foam okay like this and it has a, uh, here a hole where you just match the, the phone the phone camera with this okay so okay, and then like this okay see it holds firmly very firmly okay and then you can if you see with me if you look with me let me make it wider so I can sit Look at me, it, it cannot sit firmly. So it's, not, it's very loose, okay? Very, very loose and cannot sit to the end, okay? So it's not, it's not really proper. Okay, sorry, I did not show you. I did not move the phone to the next camera. Okay. So as you see here, It's, very, it's not that deep, okay? Can fall easy. Should sit on here in this place, not on this. This is very, this is rubber, like I told you. Okay, it's not, it does not fall. Okay. Now let's take the best one between these four mitre bar. You can still use the other, other ones, but as I told you, not this one. Okay, there are other kinds. Okay, which have something like uh, a thickness like this, okay, and it has a screw, okay, from here, where, or from here, I think I've already got, okay, but it can just, uh, yeah, from here, from the top, okay, and just like, uh, like the clamp will uh, move like this, and here, this side will have, will have something similar to this, okay, similar to this. For the for the for my microphone. Now let's get you to this one. This is the best one for my uh, binocular. Okay, so you have the phone put it on this side, and it has this hole, and this one will also like push down on the uh, eyepiece. Okay, so we're gonna make it a little bit wider from here. Okay, put the phone. Of course, you have to move the phone a little bit down, okay? But don't fasten this too much so you can make it still slide, okay? And also slide this because there's a screw here, okay? Slide it. And then we move, we go to the minor curve. Then I put it to it like this, just widen it. Okay, and the good thing is that I can reach this this place. Okay, the, the half place inside the boiler clip. Okay. And then that's it. That's it. That's all I have to do. And we're done. Okay. And here, take an idea with a better zoom.
Okay, so here I have the uh, softer part, here I have the hard part, okay? I can just press it in a better way, okay? Remember, this can go like uh, angles like this, okay? I mean, angles like this and this, okay? And like here and like, you know, you got it. Okay, so you have to fasten it properly, okay? Then you go down this a little bit, and we're done, okay? Now the good thing about this is that you can make the phone like, let me just tell you what I mean, so that like you can make it like go like this to the end, okay? Then like this. And done. And this way you're hiding uh, the, the, or you're not allowing the light to get into uh, the space between the uh, camera and the uh, eyepiece. Okay, so you see, if I zoom in, there's no spacing. Okay, it's totally, the camera is totally hidden under the rubber of the eyepiece. Okay, so it can take like the very proper uh, uh, camera, okay, a video. Okay. Uh, and yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. Okay, and uh, I will put in the uh, description of this video uh, some of the links from AliExpress where you can find these uh, uh, orders. Okay, from by phone holders or mounts or clamps, whatever you can tell. It's still, still order. Okay, and. Uh, Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and uh, you're welcome for any questions, I'm, well, uh, I'm, I'm ready to answer any questions that you want to uh, answer, uh, ask me, okay? Bye.